Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Farthest Frontier. I hope you're all well. Now, there's some significant things I need to mention to you today and it's when I've logged in, version the next version has been released. So, our town population and everything has increased. Everything has changed. We're just following around, but I do believe there is FPS improvements on this version significantly. And with that, we're going to try and smash through and finish off this series so we can start a new one. And we want to do... Uh, a brand new one on the probably hard mode so yeah we're going to get through this one we're going to try and get a nice juicy battle in in this episode we'll see and just see how the fps performs but yeah there's a certain things i need to mention on that so i will stop following our friend how now as you can see it's less stuttery it seems to be pretty damn good so first things first markets are completely different now look at this it feels really really smooth so i'm looking now i've probably got an extra 10 to 15 fps which is great considering but you'll see up here the population cap is now 1300 by the way so we can now go up to 1300 on in this game which is nuts what have you got you buying anything you're buying some of these I have a couple of those mate that's it and we'll buy some spices from you my friend Probably not that many. <laughs> you know what? You can buy a couple more armors as well. Yeah, so I'll just show you the other bits now. But as always, guys, welcome back. Let's just sell those. So we got a little bit of gold for the next one. Here you'll see. So markets, where was I? They now have the ability to have four people in. And they no longer hoard water inside of them. The wells have been improved, I believe. And they have better... Oh, a little bit of lag there. But they actually... Look at this. They actually fill up a lot more efficiently. If you look, they've all got loads of water in, which is fantastic. So some of the ones we were having issues with over here. Let me find one. There were some issues, wasn't there, over this side. These aren't even upgraded, like, as you can see. I don't know whether it's the upgrade. They've filled them all up, but yeah, they've changed the ways the prompts work as well. And there's also, you see this? Look at this. Manor has eight people that can live in there now. The next one down... Or the small ones obviously have four still. The next one up contains five. The large house can now fit six. So it's a big, big changes for this. So the way you build your towns won't be as big now. Is the way I see it. So yeah, we've got... It's exciting. I'm, I'm excited about it. I don't know if anything's been changed inside of these. I think they're all still the same. So everything else is looking pretty normal. You've probably seen people playing on this version anyway so far, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited at least anyway, because just purely for it being a little bit smoother. But anyway, let's crack into it and let's get our compost going as we normally do for the season here. I think I want to see what the FPS does during the fight. Our fertility is so good, by the way. It's so good. So yeah, there's nice changes to deal with at least. So my theory would be probably this whole point here where I'm dragging the mouse across up to the river will probably be enough to house them because if they can all do an extra two in each big, it kind of voids this whole area, which is actually a good thing. You don't really want that to be a bit of a problem. So be interesting to see if these houses upgrade quicker as well now. You see how these are just perfect. I guess because of population they won't yet, but yeah, we can fit so many people and I imagine they're going to end up going into the big houses first. Because they're already done. But uh, yeah, even more money that means, doesn't it? Obviously, we, we've spent a lot. But yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited for the new update. So that's how we're going to play it. All right. We've got merchants arriving still as well. Let's see what they're doing. So some cheese. Please do. You can't buy it all. But you can buy what you can for now. Oh, I do love this game. It's so good. Right. Let's buy up some of this. They call you smoked fish. I am excited to go again, though, and um, build the way I want to, you know. It's going to be good. Let's just rinse you for all your gold. Probably just sell these off. The maximum here or whatever. Surely because, and we'll get some more spices. Wow, we have 18k in here. Screw it, take it all. Everything else is looking pretty good, though, so we'll leave that going. But yeah, welcome back and thank you for the love always on the videos on the channel. We've been, uh, we got a new series of Alien Dawn going. It's absolutely flying on the channel. I know you guys like that one anyway. If you haven't seen that, do check it out. All these still upgrading as well. They're, they're literally empty, but they're upgrading anyway. <laughs> love it. <laughs> but yeah, let's click this on. You see all the stats here. We're in year 76 here. 957 population. I'm going to see how it runs on 3x now as well. Because this is a big town, so it'll be worth checking out. 
And I've already got some plans for how we're going to build on the next one too. Um, we have empty work areas. No problem. You're always a problem, aren't you? I'm hoping there's another way around it that we can actually plant our own trees going forward as well. To reduce the amount of people in there. Got plenty of wood anyway. And there's four villagers born. I'm hoping to still get to the thousand because that was where I want... That was like my goal for this one and that was the previous cap, obviously. The mine is out of ore. That's good. You kind of... Oh my, look at this. These are very different. Children growing up. Ah, okay. New merchant. Let's go see. Very, very cool. It's all very different. Let's get a bit of fodder in. They call that. Thank you. It's pretty crazy when you get to this point because you can just buy everything in. It's quite nice. They've got sand. Take all your sand, good, good sir. And I don't think we need anything else. We have so many bricks here. Yeah, a lot of this, I'm like... They're all dying, but it's fine. We have, um, yeah, people growing up. It's quite a cool little indicator, that, isn't it? Uh, I noticed this in the update, too. You see this? You can actually see the honey bonus now in the apiaries. Even though they're so close to each other, they're getting the default plus their little bonus. They're still producing enough for us for the year, and we are getting a lot of traders in. Holy moly. Let's slow it down a second, because they are buying up some stuff. What have you got for me? Oh, more sand. There you go. Look at that. Plenty of sand. Let's buy in a couple of these as well. Just a couple of weapons. Yeah, buying some armor as well. We could potentially stock up our armors again. We see how many we can sell. May as well. Then we got 30. We got nine still in here. I'll put that up a little bit. I think they've changed it in the, the cobbler shops have also been changed. I was reading the patch notes and the, the cobbler shops actually produce more shoes now than before. So they're, they're more efficient. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Mine is out of all. We'll look at that in a minute. We're, we're maximizing the barracks based on the money ready for the last fight. That's how we're going to do it. Building needs more workers. No, you're fine. The mine is out of ore. Oh, that's sad. Right, we no longer have... I think we got the one sand bit, and I think this one is okay. It's got 2,000 more in. We'll just have to keep buying it for now. I think we're all right. So we've got... Yeah, let's put this up again. We have so many laborers. It's pretty nuts, actually. Pretty nuts. Let's get another one in there. So we're going to max out our army. So two barracks here, all weapons, and we're going to see what we can do with... Do we need to worry about... Yeah, we do. Let's get that in. And what we'll do is get to the final fight with max, completely maxed out people. At least you can see that they're, what they're dying from now. Two villagers have died from old age. Six children have grown up. I do like that change. It could be a lot of uh, could be a lot of guff on the screen, but I'll get used to it. Just people dying left and right at the moment because we're hitting that probably a year or two where just everybody is growing up now, which is obviously an issue. Love that we have enough compost to literally do every one. Look, so I'm going to keep checking these. One villager died from old age. So we're back, at, even though all those births come in, we're still back at the same. Uh, who did die? So we got one forager and two brick makers. In all honesty, though, why the hell have I still got this many people working the bricks, you know? I'm actually going to reduce them all down to two because we... There is no need for that at all. We have two and a half thousand bricks, so. There's a new thing here. Crops lost due to rot, but there's no no illness on the crops. So that's definitely new as well. Crop rot. Hmm. Only a couple, so it doesn't matter too much, but it's worth worth mentioning. And I don't think you can any longer stack the cows like I am either on the farms. Or it reduces the food fodder quality, apparently. But I'm looking here and in all honesty, the fodder quality is 100%, so... But I guess it's because they have some in storage, maybe? I just got people dying left and right, by the way. Look at this. Three villagers dying from old age. They're dying as quick as they're born, which is kind of sad. We had a villager die of starvation here. Oh, my... Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't help but laugh. I'm really sorry. Why is no one bringing you goods? Because it's the winter. <laughs> Don't know how well this watchtower is going to be, by the way. We've still got our dead bodies lying around over here that no one can get to. They should be able to get into those. We just may not be able to reach this building. You definitely should be able to reach that building, okay? I've made sure that that is the case. This should all be okay. Then, do that. There we go. We'll see. 
They're dying because no one can bring them food. That's our tower. Here we go. There we are coming into year 77 here, which I'm excited about. Let's see what happens. We, we've, we've lost more than we're gaining, by the way. People are just dying left and right. Starvation in the towers. So, yeah. Once these this has been flattened, we should be okay. Three new villages and 12 livestock. Yeah. I don't know whether the update has caused, like, mass things to die based on just the updating, because this wasn't an issue before, but it's kind of funny. Oh, the barracks has been upgraded, by the way, everyone. And we have a maxed out barracks over here, too. So we've got two. Well, it's called a fort. But yeah, we have officially 48 soldiers at plus the towers. So I'm hoping to completely max out this last attack to see how it holds up. I don't know. We'll see. I'm hoping that the FPS can sit at least at around 20, which is, is doable during the fight, I think. We'll see, though. I gotta bear in mind that the um, the town will be a little bit smaller in the future as well. Let's get on top of these merchants as they come in. I got shoes, stone. Oh, we got lots to buy. We'll take all your stone. Take all your shoes. Uh, we'll take some jackets. Take them all, actually. I'll even take. No, we could sell them some beer. We'll probably wait for the next ones. I'm sure they'll come in anyway, and we won't need to waste our money. All right, I'm going to upgrade the theater for the sake of upgrading it, by the way. Oh, man, it's so nuts. Look, I know these aren't going to upgrade because there's no one in them anyway. I wonder if the market is getting everything it needs at the moment. It's got those goods, but you see how this isn't ticked again? I don't know what that means. I still need clarification on why it unticks some things. I guess until they've got food, there's no point anyway. All right, another merchant. I am noticing people are dying a lot easier. Which is kind of funny. Definitely, though, because look at our population. It's just no better. It's pretty nuts, man. We have no soap either. So have they changed the way soap is now as well? Are you selling any soap? Interesting. So we probably need to look at that. So we've got one soap shop, and that's lasted us the whole time, I believe. Now, that being said... So they only produce 60 a year. It kind of makes sense that we would need another one. So we'll probably do that. Resources. We've definitely got the, the goods to make it anyway. There it is. One little soap shop. And this is bad for the houses by a considerable amount, by the way. Which is going to be a problem because we've got no room for it. So one soapy shop. One soap. I have an idea. So we're going to get rid of the compost out to here, and then we'll put the uh, we'll put the soap shop in here as well. Second one there, we'll prioritize that. Oh, we have another mine out of ore. Let's have a look. Oh, our clay has finally finished. Oh, you only get fifty percent of your resources when you uh, break down now as well. Okay, unless that was always a thing. We have one over here that's still running as well. So what we'll do is maximize that. I don't think it matters too much anyway. We're just for the potter really now. I don't think we need the bricks. Oh, here we go. We have... It's only 182 actually, but we do get to test out the army. So let's see what's happening here. We're going to put it at 1x whilst they come in. I think they're queuing up over here. I can see the ram. So what we're going to do is get our soldiers ready. Come on over. There we go. And we'll probably... I kind of want to go out and meet them with the soldiers, you know? Let's see what they say. So 12 months. What I don't get about this is it says you have 12 months to pay, right? Just bear in mind, when you click, you don't have an option to defer for 12 months, if that makes sense. The moment you click deny, they come in. Get out of there. Run away. <laughs> Here we go, though. They shoot my villagers, the darnest. Here comes the final battle. They could be more armoured, actually. I didn't take that into consideration, but this already feels a little bit better. And they're all coming on the one spot. All right, here we go. Bonation meets scary boys right here. Let's go. Let's shred them. Shred them, guys. Yeah, those armoured ones are very armoured. Let's be honest. All right, you want to turn off? No problem. Bring it on. Let's go, soldiers. Look at this. Get out there and meet them. 
Looking at me, the solo man has gone out the gate to meet them. He's on his own, and he's dead. Did you just go out on your own and die? Wow, okay. Stay there for when they get in, all right? Holy crap. All right, scary. <laughs> wow, they're through one gate instantly, man. Here we go. Here goes the soldiers. Right. Are they dying out of the barracks? They are. All right, what we'll do is fill that straight back up. We're sacrificing. They are ripping through, so they've changed this. They're a little bit stronger, I think. Okay, here we go. Here comes the fight. All right, let's get this on. They are running. We got some festering and lots of deaths occurring here. Oh my lord. Okay, we'll look at this after. They've definitely changed the way they work because that was much, much stronger. We're freezing right now. Come on. Oh, 11 people have arrived at your village. Yes, please. We've just lost our whole village. So, right, there we go. We lost a lot of soldiers there. <laughs> Get them. Listen to all the coughing as well. Festered wounds. These armored ones are nuts, man. You guys are crazy. Well, that certainly set us back, didn't it? Okay, what did we lose? We lost a lot of soldiers. No problem. Welcome back in. A hunter, sawyer, a work camp worker, two furniture makers. There we go. We're good. Wow. Okay, they got through these insanely quickly. No problem. A lot of dead bodies you're going to have to deal with, guys. Is that just a wagon sat there as well? I can't I can't click on it to rebuild. There we go. We're good. We're good. We killed 120 of them, though. We're still chasing them down, of course, as you do. Yeah, that was a little bit um, touch and go for once, wasn't it? Not normally like that, so we'll take it. Return to barracks. Return to barracks. Well done. You fought well for your town. Oh, there it is, though. So, they killed 17 villagers, man. At least they all came in the one spot here, so there's multiple ways I do this now. So you put a wall around your statues again. You could have a third wall. They just plowed through that very quickly, though. My soldiers probably should have been out there meeting them. I mean, I maxed out on my soldiers in terms of what they've got. They've got heavy weapons. Oh, some have only got holberks, actually. Maybe that's why. But they've got the heavy armor, so... Needs to be no beer down this end either. Look at our gold production though, man. 776. That's insane. Uh, we resolved our issues over here though, which is nice. So it looks like they can now <laughs> come through this way. wonder if I can build a defensive wall along here. It's not that, not that it matters, I guess. Because I can't build on there. I wonder if I can just build a wall there anyway. You know what I mean? Here we go, though. We are in year 78. So we've got the steady food from livestock. We're getting villagers born, but there's so many that are elderly. Look, we have 90 more that are elderly, and they, they will die of old age very soon. And the illness rate seems to be very different. Let's take ourselves on a, a nice grand tour now. Let's pick someone here whilst we just have a little chat. Yes, Stav, 58. Here we go. Oh, of course, he stopped at the house there. I'll do is put it on 2x so he can do his thing. But yeah, this is the finale. So that is 78 years of Bow Nation. Villager has died. 78 years. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to finish off officially on this uh, this series. And we're going to go into a new hard mode or a new run on the new updated settings. Probably just a normal run for now, in all fairness. And we'll, we'll find a nice map... But I do appreciate you watching. It's been, a, it's been a great, great series to run through. And if you have enjoyed, please do smash the thumbs up for me. And obviously, if you haven't subbed, please consider that also. It's a massive help to the channel. And uh, I will mention that if you want to become a member of the channel as well, you can name a character in-game after yourself or any name that you would like within some YouTube allowing it, okay? But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this town. I know it's been a bit obscure and obviously... With the update, it's going to be very, very different. As always, everyone, take it easy, and I will see you in the next series.